Hey guys, got a brand new light here from a friend of the channel. It's Green Machine, a Canadian company, around about five years now, and they've sent us their flagship model. It's the GR8. See here, it's an eight bar LED grow light, large unit, about 650 watts of power output. That's white and uh, 660 nanometer reds, all Samsung high-end LEDs, by the way. And then they've got a really cool feature, which is an additional uh, about 70, 80 watts of far red, 730 nanometer Samsung chips again, giving this really high proportion of far red output, which is really unique in the market. And you can control those two channels, those two outputs separately, which is really unique and cool and uh, you can dial them exactly how you want them in terms of proportion to each other for different phases of growth. So as I said, it's got high-end Samsung LM301H white LEDs and Samsung 660 nanometer reds, as well as really high efficiency drivers, which should result in a really high uh, efficiency output and really good power intensity. So we're gonna look at that in a minute. First of all, let's check out the spectrum and these uh, two individual channels. You can see here, if you, uh, you can increase the white up and down from 10 to 100%, but you can also adjust that far red channel to, um, to increase that proportion of far red in the spectrum output. The white spectrum or CAN spec is the green machine. Um, main output for use for veg and flowering and then you have as I said this far red additional far red element which you can boost for the flowering stage this is a large light physically four foot by four foot or 1.2 by 1.2 meters in size and 650 watts um, plus your 80 watts far red output so I put it into a four by four to start and for this setup, you would definitely need CO2 supplementation because it brings the average power up very high. I hung it at 12 inches or 30 centimeters hanging height. As you can see, it still gave a good even spread with an average power of about 1100 micromoles, but a really good system efficiency of 2.53 micromoles per watt, a usable PPF per watt. So an excellent high performance setup there in a four x four. I also set it up in a 5x5. Five five. In this larger area, you need to hang the light a little bit higher just to get that even spread. So I hung at 20 inches or 50 centimeters, and again, gave a really nice output, a high average power of 700 micromoles per meter square per second, and an efficiency of 2.48 micromoles per watt, or usable PPF per watt, which is really high um, class leading efficiency for this, um, for this light. I also hung the light and um, I repeated the test in a 5x5, five five, put a lower hang height down at 12 inches or 30 centimeters. And although the center measurements were in around the 1200 micromole mark, if you're running with supplemental CO2, this would be perfectly acceptable. And it does deliver a really good average power, 755 micromoles per meter square per second, and a system efficiency of 2.65 micromoles per watt or usable PPF per watt. In both situations, I didn't have the far red element on because that's not measured strictly in the 400 to 700 nanometer power range. We obviously know with the Emerson effect that this far red can, uh, is used from a photosynthetic point of view and also um, increases the overall system efficiency uh, in terms of photosynthetic efficiency of the fixture when used. So it's a really nice feature to have, particularly for the flowering stage. So this is a really high um, output, high efficiency fixture from uh, Green Machine. The GR8 is, will give you an excellent spread in either a 4x4 with supplemented CO2 or a five by five. And you have that unique feature of being able to boost the far red to a proportion, as I said before, which is much higher than any other grow light that I've tested. So really is special to this model. It's got the backing of the uh, manufacturer with a seven year warranty and it's DLC listed. 
It's got um, full dimmable control on the fixture as well as multi-link. Um, so you can our daisy chain multiple fixtures together for dimming control. So it's totally suitable for commercial applications. And it's been a really pl real pleasure to test it. Nice looking uh, fixture too, I have to say. If any questions or comments about it, please leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Take care.